split payments is really powerful, I think, in that um, uh, you can take a wallet and then any money which comes into that wallet, you can then tell it to split percentage wise across a whole bunch of wallets. So um, you could use it, for example, if you have sales persons selling something, they could receive their commission at the point of sale and then they could literally look at their wallet and see the funds going into their wallet. And that's their, you know, that's their wages. Or you could have it for like a joint venture, like a, a set people selling coffee or whatever. Um, you could or pre-decide like who gets how what what of percentage and what percentage should be for rent materials. And then uh with every payment, then everybody can see on their in their wallets they're getting, you know, money streaming into it. Um and then I'm working on the Spotify jukebox. This just connects to the Spotify API. So somebody can, with anyone with a Spotify account, say if you've got a bar, you can plug your phone into a speaker. And then through this AP, this Spotify jukebox extension makes like a, a web GUI for somebody. So you say what playlist people can have access to. And then people can go to one of those playlists and they can play a song. Um, they have to pay. You know, they get an invoice, they pay the invoice. When they pay the invoice, then it plays a song on the device you've linked up to it, so your phone. Um, so you can really easily, like, have a jukebox then, uh, which I think is a really nice sort of passive income for a bar or cafe owner. Um, uh, and the funny thing is about these sats, you know, when they they start coming in and when you start stacking them, they, they, they accumulate quite quickly. Like, you think, oh, it's only 100 sats someone's paying per song. Uh, but... I don't know. I just noticed. Well, I suppose it just that it can accumulate quite quickly if you've got a busy bar, if you're running a, a Bitcoin meetup there or something. Everyone's playing songs on your thing. So yeah. So that's what we got so far. But there's plenty more in the pipeline, and there's we encourage people. We're trying to do more documentation on how other people can contribute and build their own extensions, because uh, each extension is its own self-contained thing, and quite often for a lot of functions you could just copy and paste the code from other extensions for functions you need uh so we want to do more outreach educational it's all written in python the back end and the front end is like html and javascript so it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward um uh so we want to do more educational stuff so people can you know easily build their own extensions so that's my uh Ellen bits shill and breakdown of all the extensions we currently have that was a pretty solid shill i must was it okay say. damn <laughs> No, seriously, man, this is this has gotten incredibly feature rich. Yeah, it's loads. 